<laughs> Easy on the goods, sweetheart. <laughs> this can't be happening. You know, I never thought I would come face to face with an enemy. Make her blush. <laughs> I suppose I should apologize for intruding like this. I can't imagine you were expecting us. I don't think you've quite realized what you've involved yourself in. You're just a scared little girl. Unfit to look me in the eye. Much less call yourself a dragon. As for the fools who bow their heads to you as their leader. Well, it's no wonder the Azure Clan has one foot in the grave. <laughs> How dare you? Say what you want about me. But don't ever undermine the suffering my people have endured. I know I'm not strong enough to win this war, but at least I'm willing to swallow my pride and deal with what's in front of me. You, the mighty Crimson Dragon, a coward who hides behind his form. You flex your power while maintaining you care about how I feel. <laughs> don't make me laugh. You know damn well it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. For someone so bold, you don't seem to know where you stand. <laughs> I could have burned that damned island to ashes, but instead, I've been rather generous, don't you think? Not like that pathetic excuse of a dragon. Generations of weaklings too prideful to admit defeat. In the end, they could hardly protect themselves much less their own people. That's who you have to blame, dear. Now tell me, what happens when I crawl in your bed and bury my face in that sultry red hair? Will it matter if you struggle or scream? Or will you let me have my way with you? <laughs> Oh, Prince Cairo, <laughs> you really know how to charm a girl? Should your highness ever bestow me with such an honor, I have no choice but to lie back and do this. <laughs> <sighs> I can't believe that worked. Certs, you right, you scoundrel. <sighs> I need to get out of here before... <laughs> <laughs> And I thought this would get boring. <laughs>